I started making videos about healthcare assistant um, training uh, and supporting people to travel to the UK. Uh, it got busy. I couldn't really manage it because, you know, to support so many people, you have to be answering questions, responding to inquiries and all that. So it got busy combining studies, families and um, business on, businesses on ground. It was not easy to combine. The healthcare assistant route was very good. It was um, it was the easiest that I have seen. Um, they are really lucky people. You know how many exams doctors are going to do, even nurses, before they are able to, you know, work abroad. But healthcare assistant route, I've seen people that have been able to use the route to Canada. I've seen people that have been able to um, use the route to the UK, the US, and the likes. Uh, depending on how much uh, capacity you have for stress and uh, fund. Fund is very important. We were able to assist six people, surprisingly, not just six people, six families, you know. Uh, it was a really good one, good outcome, but really stressful. It is important for you to be able to do your own applications, uh, manage you know, information, do research, because if you are depending on me or the facility, the hospital for support and questions answering every day, it's a lot. And it's not even compatible with the developed world where you have to be able to use your Google, seriously. So that's something that these days is difficult to say that, you know, somebody is a graduate, especially in our own client. But I'm, at least I am happy with the outcome so far. I was particularly interested in supporting people for HK assistance because I have an hospital in Nigeria, uh, in Ibadan, precisely, Gates Clinics, where we have uh, people, young graduates from nursing school, graduates generally, degree holders, degree holders, who are able to do the skill acquisition training uh, and um, use that to support their application for jobs abroad uh you know they also need experience work experience volunteering experience and all that so we're able to provide all that to um support their applications and it went well so that gave me the interest we had so many slots but people are not ready people are too dependent and reliant on you know the facility and i couldn't manage with that moving forward uh we'll be expanding to probably visa applications you know and continue to support those that are looking for jobs from abroad your travel support is warming up yes we are warming up we are going to be there for you but you also have to be prepared to do your own quota do your own part in order to make it easy for people that are supporting you. It's not about money. I had a client that was thinking because she has 10 million. I was just like, this is not about money. <laughs> the money will even be nothing. The money will not be anything if you cannot get a job. So what's the point in having money and you are not proactive? You are not ready to do your own research. You are not ready to make applications. What's the point? Even if we have job opportunities for you in care homes, you still have to go through the stress of doing the applications, going for police reports, visa, and all that. I'm not going to be the one to do that for you. Irrespective of your money, you have to be ready for the stress. Nobody's going to take up that responsibility for you. Anyways, your travel support is here, and um, we are ready and open for business.